Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back. Um, so today's video is going to be on this gold metallic eye and pink cherry lips as a holiday glam look and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to start off with priming my eyelids using MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and then just apply this all over my lids and also take that up into my eyebrows just so that I can um, prime them for the eyeshadow that will go on later on. And now taking this NYC color wheel, I'm going to use um, my bronzer as a transition color in the crease. And this will help with blending out the colors, the darker colors later on. And also it's easier for the colors to transition from a dark color to a light color. So now taking the Maybelline um, Nudes palette, I'm going to go in with this brown color right here and also run that through a crease. And again, I'm using my E40 Sigma blending brush, um, holy grail brush right here. So yeah, I'm just going to blend that through the crease and darken it up a little bit more. And now with this Lorac. Um, it's a baked bronzer, but I'm going to use this with um, Fix Plus and apply this on my eyelid. And this is a base for the gold color that we're going to put on the eyelid later on. It'll just help with the intensity of the gold, of the gold eyeshadow. <laughs> And then spraying my brush again with Fix Plus and it's just a flat shader brush. I'm going to go in with the gold color in the Nudes palette and apply that over my eyelid. Now going in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear on a smaller blending brush. I'm going to use this color to blend out the gold color. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to use this color to blend out the gold color into the crease. And then after, I'm just going to go back in with the gold color and intensify it a little bit more. And now with Inglot's um, gel liner, and this is in number 77, and then just taking any eyeliner small angled brush, um, I'm just going to do a, I wanted a really thick wing liner for this look. And now going in with a small pencil brush, um, I decided to do the eyeliner before I added in this black color just so that I can see exactly where I want to darken my crease at. And um, yeah, I'm just taking this in between the Cocoa Bear and the gold eyeshadow. And then now with a fluffy brush, um, this is a more controlled fluffy brush and I went in with that dark color again to blend out the black. Now intensifying the black a little more and then once again blending everything out with a fluffy brush and no extra product on the brush. Mm -hmm. 
Now for mascara, I featured this mascara in my favorites video for November. It's the Lights Camera Lashes Tarte Mascara and I seriously love this stuff. Um, I'm just going to apply some of this right before I apply my eyelashes. And the eyelashes I'm going to be using, I got them off eBay. They were only like $2. You just have to look up um, just, you know, fake eyelashes. And then a whole bunch of things will pop up. They're like 2 or $3 for a set of 10 But the lashes, I really like them. They don't even look fake or anything. So um, I definitely recommend eyelashes from eBay. And now, because my skin has been oily, I'm going to prime my skin using Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. And this is for oily skin. It's oil free and it's very lightweight and it makes my foundation last a little longer. And before I apply my foundation, I was just going to spray Fix Plus on my brush and then dab my foundation all over, um, push it into my skin and then buff it out. Um, that way I can get a more flawless finish. And here I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush and I love this brush as well. Um, it fits everywhere in between my eyebrows, around my nose, around my eyes. And once I've done my foundation, I'm going to brush out my um, my eyebrows with a spoolie and I had forgotten my brow gel in the other room so I improvised and I used the taupe dark brown color in the palette and I actually really loved how this left my eyebrows it left it like the that ashy brown and um yeah I'm just I'm not gonna really focus on making them really perfect as long as they're dark on the outer corners or the outer parts of my eyebrows and then the middle part um, I'm just gonna leave them light because then I'm just gonna clean it up with concealer after And here I'm using my Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. I'll list all the products and the names down below. But this is the one that matches my skin more. And I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows and just make sure that they look on point. And now going on back in with the flat shader brush um, I grabbed the white vanilla color and I'm just gonna play place this under my eyebrows um, as a highlight and then for concealer I have these two Maybelline fit me concealers and the first one I'm gonna use right under my eyelash line as a concealer and then go in with the lighter concealer and this one's sand I think it's number 20 or 22 and I'm just going to apply this lighter color on the outer parts of the triangle around my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and chin and also on my forehead as a highlight and then blend everything out with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender and I honestly I love the beauty blender for blending out concealer. It um, Any extra product that you have it will literally remove everything but still leave enough product to give you a flawless finish and then setting that with my Ben Nye banana powder um, holy grail as well I love it for setting and then going in with a big fluffy brush just um, make sure to remove all the powder that I just applied and now going in with the darker bronzy color I'm just gonna use that to um, <laughs> I'm just gonna use that to shade right under my lower lash line and I just I love doing this right after doing my concealer because then um, it's easier to just blend it out and not worry about have like removing the product when you place your concealer and now going in again with my mascara just coat my bottom lashes
to bronze my face I'm gonna go back in with the NYC color wheel and um, I have the name down below as well and I'm just gonna place this around my cheekbones I don't really want a very contoured line I just kind of want to bronze up my face and around my temples and forehead and then taking this elf contour brush I'm just gonna contour my nose and blend it out with my fingers now going in with NARS orgasm I decided to go with this blush because it does have that iridescence to it and I don't have to worry about a highlight and I wanted something just really natural and glowy so I thought this blush would be just perfect for that holiday glam look and here I'm just using my Real Techniques um, blush brush so for lips um, I wanted to instead of doing the traditional red lip I decided to go with this cherry pink lip and the lipstick is from bite beauty cosmetics um, but yeah I got it from Sephora and first I'm gonna line my lips with max brick it's a very um, just a regular red orangey tone and then after um, obviously after outlining my lips I'm just gonna fill everything in using the lipstick and I actually love this lipstick it stays on all day and even when you eat or you drink something it still leaves a lip stain so it doesn't look like you know half your lipstick is off so this is why I chose this lipstick as well And that completes the final look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and please don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time